human body is a very complex machine. It's capable of an amazing variety of different movements. To understand these movements, we first need to break them down into their individual components. To do that, we use a series of basic planes and axes to describe each individual motion that occurs during a more complex task. Although most motion occurs in multiple planes at the same time, it's helpful for us to be able to describe things by their different components. To do this, we use a series of three cardinal planes that are oriented at 90 degrees to each other. Each of these planes corresponds to a cardinal movement within the human body. The first of our cardinal planes is our sagittal plane, shown here in green. As shown here, the sagittal plane divides the body into a left and right half. Motion in this plane can be described as flexion or extension. Next up is the frontal plane, shown here in blue. The frontal plane divides the body into a front and back half or an anterior portion and a posterior portion. Motion that occurs in this plane would be considered abduction and adduction. Finally, we have our transverse plane shown here in yellow. The transverse plane divides the body into an upper half and lower half or superior portion and inferior portion. Motion that occurs in the transverse plane would be considered rotation. We also use a set of axes to help us describe motion. These axes are oriented at 90 degrees to each other. The axes orient to the body in a very specific way to help us describe motion. Our anterior posterior axis is shown here. Motion that occurs around this axis would include abduction and adduction. Next up is our medial lateral axis, which runs from the left side of the body to the right side. Motion around this axis would be flexion and extension. Finally, we have our superior and inferior axis. Motion that occurs around this axis would be considered rotation. Our axes in our planes are connected. If you'll notice, we have color coding for each pair. Blue here represents our frontal plane and anterior posterior axis. Our planes and axes are always aligned at 90 degrees to each other. Here we have our sagittal plane with the medial lateral axis. Again, aligned at 90 degrees to each other. Finally, we have our transverse plane and our superior and inferior axis, which make a pair and are aligned at 90 degrees to each other. So here we have a bony segment. Notice it's oriented at 90 degrees to our axis. We can see that it rotates around an axis. This is how motion occurs within our body. Now remember our relationship of our planes and our axes being at 90 degrees to each other. So we have motion occurring around an axis, but motion occurs within a plane. So when we describe motion, we describe motion occurring within a plane around a particular axis. So motion that occurs in the sagittal plane occurs around the medial lateral axis, the transverse plane around the superior inferior axis, and the frontal plane around the anterior posterior axis. So now you know your three cardinal planes and your three cardinal axes and how they're related to each other. Having this foundation of knowledge will help you better understand how motion occurs within the human body. It also gives you the vocabulary to communicate with other physical therapy professionals when describing movement.